Welcome to the CNET Movie Second Edition on-screen demonstration. Let's begin by setting up the board. CNET comes with a unique FlexTime game board that can be fully extended for a full game or folded into a circle for short play. CNET is played with two dice, a six-sided die to determine how far your game piece moves, and an eight-sided die to determine what type of challenges you face. For a list of the different challenge categories, refer to the CNET instruction sheet. The trivia cards are split into three categories. Every card has a question from each category on the front and its corresponding answer on the back. You can use the DVD to adjust the amount of time from 10 to 30 seconds that players have to answer. Just go to Main Menu, then select the Timer option. Place the buzz cards on the board and select a player to operate your DVD player's remote control. Refer to them as the DVD Master. Choose your playing pieces, place them at the start location on the board, and you're ready to play. Start the game by rolling the numbered die to determine who goes first. At your turn, roll both dice and move the number of spaces shown on the numbered die. You now attempt to successfully complete a challenge from the category shown on the category die. When you win a challenge, you roll the dice again and take another turn. When you win a challenge while on a double feature space, you move twice the distance shown on the numbered die. If you roll a buzz card, your turn is over. Follow the instructions on the card, then pass the dice to the next player. If you roll a My Play, My Play is chosen from the DVD menu and you attempt to answer the challenge that appears on screen. After you've played Seen It many times, you may start seeing the same My Play clips over again. Don't worry, each My Play clip has multiple questions associated with it, so you never know what you'll be asked. On an All Play, All Play is chosen from the menu and all players attempt to solve the question. If the roller of the dice shouts out the correct answer first, they roll the dice again and take another turn. If someone else answers first, the roller's turn is over and the dice are handed to the next player. The player who answered the challenge correctly has the choice of either giving another player a buzz card or moving their own game piece forward one space. If more than one player answers an all-play question at the same time, a tiebreaker is used to determine the winner. The DVD remote can be used to pause, fast forward, or skip a portion of a challenge. The DVD shuffles itself whenever you start a new game, so you'll never see the same all-play challenge repeated during a single session. If you get an all-play that you have seen in a previous game, simply hit the return button on your remote and a new all-play challenge will appear. On a roll of player's choice, the player can choose from any of the trivia card categories or DVD challenges. Okay, now that you understand how to play, let's talk about how to win. When a player reaches the stop all play to win space, they are only one all play to win challenge away from winning the game. If they lose the challenge, they move to the outer circle of final cut and pass the dice to the next player. The player who won the challenge has the option of giving another player a buzz card or moving their own game piece forward three spaces. Remember, players in the final cut rings are immune to buzz cards. In Final Cut, the player chooses Final Cut from the DVD menu and follows the simple on-screen instructions. If they answer all of the questions correctly, they win the game. If they miss a question, they move one ring closer to the center, but must wait for their next turn to try again. That's it! You're now ready to play Scene It!